So the first time we saw a mainliner, uh, the first hint was a guy, had, a slayer was full of the needles. And then we saw one in attack a slayer with its needles. I don't think that'll ever actually happen um, again. I think that's just a completely scripted sequence. I don't think the monsters ever fight each other. The hell? You guys are alive. Sup, Chico. Long time no see. Not long enough, I think. Dallas, you got cojones. You show your dirty face in front of me. Whatever, man. Stop tripping. It's fucking. Yeah, is this real? The time to try and hold grudges. You and Byron thought you could hide that shit from me. Nobody sells meth or crank or H or Sherm or nothing in Abbott. In what the hell is Sherm? You thought you could play Chico for a fool, eh? Play me like a fucking bitch. You gotta rat up your ass about some old news, man. Things are different now. I don't think so, Pendejo. You fuck me once, you fuck me again. See? Am I gonna have to kill these guys? Yeah, I fucked you up, Chico. Bring that shit. Great. Because people will always be idiots. Oh yeah, no, all this trouble going on, let's argue and fight over stuff like that. Jeez. Doesn't matter what's going on in the world, somebody's gotta be an alpha male. And I say, oh yeah, no, there needs to be an alpha male. Oh jeez. Yeah, not the time, buddy. Yeah, I don't mean I don't mean that like oh there has to be an alpha male. Someone's gonna be an alpha male because that's just how people are. Is the door open? Nope. Probably breakable. Ooh, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, there's a ladder up there. If I climb up on there using that box, I can get that. So we move the box. Do a quick bit of looking around. I should really figure out a use for the flashbangs. Where's it? L1? The hell was that? You know, I don't think I'm going to figure out a use for the flashbangs. Let me see, is there anything I can switch them with? Nope. Do I get proper grenades later? I think I do. One of those tricks, trying to figure out where the way you need to go is so you can go the other way and see if there's anything to get. Right, is this the way forward? Is it not? Who knows? Would have been so much simpler if that was locked. Right, I'm going back and I'm climbing up that ladder. Sounds like there's a predator lurking nearby. Okay, that's gonna drop the ladder. Survive this place. You gotta become it. I, I tried to fight it, but it's no use. Oh yeah, you found. 
Okay. How the hell did you knock that down? It also begs the question of why didn't you do that earlier? Yeah, I'm actually thinking this was the way forward now. Yeah, it looks like it is. Do I want to go back? This is a let's play. Do we want to go back? Do we want to waste the time just in case? Here, let's do it. They got him. Damn. That was some poor fall damage. Where am I going to restart? Jeez. I always knew it wouldn't be the monsters that would get me. Alright, since we're back here, I guess we're gonna, um, we're gonna cut to, um, after we've dealt with all this crap. And we're gonna go check out that other gate. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so we're back at the gate. Let's see what was... Uh, down here and see whether it was worth me dying for. Okay, just leads around here. What about the other way? Bunch of revolver ammo, one bottle, a zombie. Another fight. So. Uh, take took a look at the uh, the Wikipedia page for this game, mostly just to get a um, a consensus on the reviews. You know, Wikipedia will generally sum up a bunch of review complaints and positives without you ever actually check through the whole thing. Uh, one of the complaints of this game that was apparently pretty common was that it just wasn't that scary. Or scary at all, really. Yeah, I think that's probably down to how much uh, of it's fighting. Too dark. You know what I'm saying? Give me a fucked up hood any day. At least there, I know what I'm getting into. There it is. I was waiting for that. Oh, I remember this place. It's the fire near the showers. Huh. But, yeah, what was the, um... The thing, yeah. I think really just because how actionized it is, there's not really much opportunity for horror. You can have a similar issue with Resident Evil 5. Uh, because of just how actionized it is, there's not time for any horror to be built up. You know, along with other reasons. To survive this place, you gotta become it. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to fight it, but it's no use. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you found a way. Hold on, I'll be up there in a second. Yeah, so he just shoots this thing, but he only shoots it after we climb up. It's like, why couldn't you do that in the first place, Dallas? He'll pop you right now. Holding out on me. Alright, now let's actually continue the game. So, Hargreave has gathered a bunch of COs and is executing inmates in V-Block. Flamethrower instructions. How to make a frame flamethrower, the ultimate right weapon. Take a flare attached to the end of a bike pump, 
the back end attach a gas can you'd be ready to set it off be careful it's got a backdraft won't last long so this is something that is very optional to make we've got plenty of flares um bike pump and gas can uh, we'll see if we can find but we may not end up uh, getting anything I can't go through there because it's filled with the uh, the stuff the mainliners leak. The lethal injection stuff that's apparently toxic to the touch. I can't see shit in here. Yeah, why is it everywhere in this place? It's just so dark. The good news is the main line is glow in the dark. Bang. So we can't do anything about these blood pools. Um, really, with stuff like this, with the shower, it was a case of... Dude. With the shower, it was a case of turn the water off or they'll infinitely spawn. With the blood pools, they'll just stop spawning at some point. Nothing in here worth having. Ticks and leeches. Well, you can tick the leeches off the board. And door number one. More zombium. Batteries, which I always appreciate. Because I can't see a damn thing in here without them, without the flashlight. And that's it. Behind door number two. Oh, jeez. Where'd that, where'd that one go? Dude, get out of the way. So this guy took a lethal injection to the head. His body's still there. That, is, that does not look pleasant. The good news is, like, say we run out of flashlight batteries, which hopefully won't happen. We have been finding plenty of them. Uh, but we do have the flares, which hopefully should do us some good. Oh, there's V-Block. Awesome. Actual light. Health in the infirmary. I like that. It's good. Yeah, the way. Really hope he goes away soon. Gonna want to put the flashlight back on, I guess. Back to back. It's a shame he was completely worthless in actually killing that thing. It's a good thing it's not raining outside, but these things would be everywhere. So, if I remember rightly, Slayers? Yeah, there is a phone ringing. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you on the toilet. So, if I remember rightly, Slayers are a regular threat through the entire game. Um, but other enemies will come up as we proceed. Where's the phone? Is that it? This is your 
your doctor talk. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. It looks like your problem is altogether more serious than I had originally suspected. You will need to come in. In the meantime, don't do anything rash. Don't become too upset. Don't get into any altercations, because there's no telling what horrible thing you might do. You must come to see me soon, if you ever hope to gain control. So that sounds kind of like the projector doctor, but not quite. God, these things are just everywhere. Did you shoot me? Yeah, you know, I cannot wait till we get rid of this guy now. There, let's go. So I'm guessing Hargrave was the guy we saw who was just executing inmates in a line. Guess we're in V block now. Oh man, you're here. You gotta save us before Hargrave gets back. You gotta cut us down. You gotta... I don't think so. My prisoners never make it out alive. Oh jeez, they have a mounted machine gun. That was excessive. Has come to wash the scum from the earth. This is my again. Lock it down. Oh, these guys have guns. Yep, there are those bodies. So where'd Dallas go? Oh, he's talking right now. Oh, the door's open now. Well, that ma that mountain machine gun could turn quite a bit. The door's open. I don't think it was supposed to open like that. Yeah, it was supposed to break through there, but for some reason the door downstairs was just open. Well, he's off the machine gun at least. Now let's go. Be good if you could switch this around actually. Okay, I'm going to take you down, because you're taking... You're probably going to take less damage. Gee, how much are you going to take? Where'd the other guy go? That's all my zombie again. What a time to reload. And now the Slayers arrive. Get out! This is a private party. No knives allowed. Head must be attached to the body. This thing just mostly. This has got to be the way you're expected to deal with this because there's a lot of them here. I'm sure one just popped in there right in front of me. Jeez, go away, guys. 
Of course, this also suggests, like, if I'd given it, like, another ten minutes or so before I came in here, the Slayers would have come and taken care of Hargreave. I don't know where that is. Well, that's everything. Doors are still locked. Don't think I can open them. Where's Dallas? I heard him speaking before, but where is he? He's over there. He's stuck there. Doors open. Can I not bring him with me? <laughs> 